Hello, my name is Martin Ainsworth and welcome to this light bite tutorial for Creative Cow on clipping masks versus layer masks. Uh, in front of me I have a picture in which I've applied a clipping mask to some text and a layer mask to an image. So I want to quickly go through how I've created these elements and why you'd use a clipping mask and why you'd use and how you would make a vector mask. So let's get started straight away. What I'm going to do is I've got a blank canvas here. I'm going to bring in an image, which is my toilet sign. I'm going to drag it and drop it onto my canvas. I'm then going to hit the shift and the alt key. I'm going to left click and drag the image to the size that I want it to be. And then I'm going to press return key to confirm these changes. And then using the move tool, I'm going to move it over to the left hand side. I'm then going to write with my type tool the word toilet. I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to click, left click and drag it to the side of the sign and then going to click on the word toilet in my layers panel. I'm going to drag it down to the create new layer. So as I've just made a duplicate of this, I'm going to double click it. I'm going to type in women's I'm just going to left click the layer, hold the shift key and drag it down. And then going to left click on my layer, drag it down to the new layer icon, double click on the layer that I want to change and type in men's. I'm going to left click the layer, hold the shift key and drag it down. Okay, white's a little bit on the boring side, so I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool here and I'm going to click and drag across the outside and then what I'm going to do is right click on my rectangle go to blending options and then I'm going to go to gradient overlay and click OK I'm going to left click and drag this so that it's below my toilet sign so here goes first of all we're going to create a clipping mask so I have a picture over here of a cow in a field that I'm just going to left click and drag onto my canvas. I'm going to move the cow so it's about there for me underneath the word toilet. I'm going to hit the return key to accept the change and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag the cow to above the word toilet and then I'm going to go to layer and create clipping mask. What that now has done it has created a clipping mask using the word toilet. I know that it's a clipping mask because I've got the little down arrow that says that it's been clipped to this particular layer here of toilet. I can actually grab hold of the cow in a field layer. I can, using the move tool, I can move that image around so I can position it just where I want it to be. And if I also go edit, free transform, I can actually grab and drag this image to reshape it where to where I want it to be. I can also right click on my toilet text layer I can go to blending options, I can go to stroke and I can put a stroke around the outside of my text. So here we go, I'm going to put a white stroke that is 10 pixels wide around the outside. Now the advantage of a clipping mask, so using the image to clip the word toilet, is if I want to this is still a fully editable text layer. So I can go to the word toilet and I can double click it and I can add or remove anything that I want and it still remains editable. So here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select my background layer. I do this because sometimes when we drag an image in what can happen is if I've got the word toilet selected and I go and grab this CJPEG and drop it in, it places itself between the clipping mask and the text and ruins our effects. So let's just take that picture, let's the escape key and say no. So we're going to select the le background layer or the layer that we want to put it on top of. So here I'm going to go for the women. I've selected the women's layer. I'm going to go for the star fields. So I'm going to drag the star field onto my canvas. I'm going to place it about where I want it to be, hit the return key. Then I'm going to go to layer create clipping mask and there we go I'm going to right click on my text layer go to my blending options get a stroke 
to click on the word stroke to activate the panel for the stroke. Make it 10 pixels wide and change the color to white. So very quickly, click OK. I'm going to go to the men's layer. I'm going to go and grab the forest. So left click and drag the forest down on top of here. Position it where I want it to be. Press the return key to accept the changes. Making sure we've got the forest green layer selected. Go to layer, create clipping mask, right click, blending options, stroke, click on the word stroke to activate the panel, 10 pixels wide and again I'm making this a nice white colour and clicking OK. So that's using a clipping mask on text to reveal a picture and use the text as the outline. So now what I want to do is I want to be able to use a vector mask or a layer mask on the toilet sign just here. So first of all I'm going to click and drag the C picture onto my canvas. I'm going to press the return key to accept the changes there and then I'm going to left click and drag in the layers panel to put the C below the toilet sign. I'm going to select the toilet sign I'm going to go to my magic wand and with contiguous unselected I'm going to click on the black in my picture so having the contiguous unselected it will make sure it selects all the black pixels in that particular layer and I'm going to click on C wide and then I'm going to click down at the bottom here on the add layer mask now the picture will disappear but when I remove the toilet sign you will see that it actually reveals because I've created a mask that reveals part of the picture. Now I can use the brush and I can paint pixels in and out of this picture if I want to do so if I wanted to make some changes I can do but I'm not going to at the moment. I can also right click go to my blending options and again if I want to I can put a stroke around the outside of this object because it's using the mask to know where to put the stroke. So I click OK to that and OK. I can actually unlink the mask from the picture from the layers panel here so then I'm able to grab the picture and using the move tool I can move the picture around behind the mask. And that is the difference between a clipping mask which clips to an object and a layer mask which puts a mask on a particular layer that allows you to paint the pixels in and out. My name is Martin Ainsworth, thank you very much for watching this light by tutorial for Creative Cow.